Episode 17, Self-Proclaimed Genius Magician. Around Hudo Capital... God, is this the narrator or the kid? Around Hudo... <laughs> I'm gonna change the kid's voice every fucking time I do it, aren't I? Around Hudon Capital, Royal Road spreads out. Thanks to this road, the survival, survival rate of travelers rose by leaps and bounds. It was on this Royal Road of Hudon. Hey, are you going to walk? Why not take a carriage? Usually, it was common to ride a horse-drawn carriage by paying some money. It was faster and safer. Horse-drawn carriages have magic protection to keep weak monsters away. This journey would take them three days on a carriage and ten days on foot. Why? Because we're going to do intensive training from now on. Eh? Intensive training? Yeah, it's a jam-packed schedule. You could say it's special training. Nina has become strong recently. I have also increased my level and improved my status. However, when I was facing the ogre, I was struggling just to fight it. Eh? You've been fighting the ogre? Yeah, it was terrible. My arm was broken and my head was one step away from being crushed. However, I killed it. Eh? Nina was surprised to see me alive after facing the ogre. I never- I was never- uh, getting injured when fighting against weak monsters, but the day I was one step away from death's door. That day. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to see if you. Uh, oh, hey, what are you. <laughs> trying to see if your injury is better. That arm was healed long ago. Why are you touching my bottom? Don't worry, being touched there is calming you down, right? While she said that, there was no chance to make her. to. Uh, chance to make her hand that was touching my bottom leave. What? 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 The reason being that monsters get stronger the closer we are to the capital. We will get ourselves accustomed to their strength. Okay, I just... Uh, I have more problems with this one than anyone else to trying to figure out who's talking, who's narrating. <laughs> I still like it. It's still a fun story, though. Um, get stronger the closer we are to the capital. We will get ourselves accustomed to their strength so that we wouldn't... wouldn't hey, I wouldn't die stupidly when we encounter a strong monster. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, that's because the capital was built in the vicinity of a dungeon. So, why did they build it near one? Because there's a lot of benefits. Nina told me the reason. Dungeons have monster spawning grounds. Unlike normal monster breeding, monsters spawn are of high purity. Weapons, armor, accessories, they can be created from monsters' materials. There are also treasure boxes spawning inside dungeons. Treasure boxes spawning may sound weird, but the aim of so many adventurers is finding those boxes. From a high-ranked dungeon, one could even find national-level treasures inside. If one could find such a treasure, they could live the remaining part of their life in luxury. But there are a lot of monsters attacking. Still, there are more benefits than drawbacks. However, we haven't encountered any monsters. That's because we're on the Royal Road. That day, we didn't encounter any demons until nightfall. Today, we will camp here. Eat! Eat! We say it's a camp, but it's more like a bonfire. We don't have any tents to justify naming it as a camp. We ate bread... I don't know why I said camp like that. We ate bread and dried meat that was made by Stella. She taught me how to make it once. Stella's bread is delicious. Because of Nina's remarks, my eyes become watery. Yeah, because bread can be kept longer. Don't eat it all now. We will do that. Do the special training tomorrow. Eh, we're going to do it in the darkness? Because it is dark, it will be a special training. You can also use your full power. No need to hold back. I know I have grown, but you have better swordsmanship, you. Don't worry. I will spar with you without using magic nor weapons. What? Barehanded without magic? I dropped my long sword in front of Nina. Ah, uh, how come it's broken? In the battle with the ogre, its state became so wretched. I will get a new one in the city, so I have to fight without it until I get a new one. Don't worry, good equipment can be found in the capital. The reason why I wanted to buy it there was because they have A, C, and D rank dungeons there. Enrino, Enrio Maze is a B rank dungeon, and the Gol Golgo Labyrinth, a D rank one. Many dungeons are nearby that are famous for the materials found within, which were used to make armors and weapons from. Of course, I will buy the best equipment available. Buy an item bag first. It's the thing that makes a revolution for an adventurer. Item bags are small pouches that have magic applied on them. They can hold items much bigger than their size, and their weight doesn't change. It was an essential equipment. Alright, enough talk. Let's train. I positioned myself away from her. You can come at me any time. Yeah, him, he said that. <clears throat> You can come at me any time. The moment I said that, Nina's dagger had passed by the side of my face with a zing sound. Nina, you don't have to hold back. I can heal myself. Okay. Nina was afraid of hurting me. It should lessen her anxiety. Okay, I will cast fireball. <laughs> yeah, fucking translator. What? I shot a fireball at Nina. What? Nina, you have to be serious. If not, there's no point to this special training. Ah, uh, you saw through me. Nina has finally become serious. She took a dagger and a steel knife in her left and right hand, respectively. I think- I guess he shot a fireball at her 
uh, because because she had like he was punishing her for not listening to him about taking it seriously or yeah going at him seriously not holding back whatever Nina's dagger mastery level three and dual dagger level one mutually enhanced their effects oh at that moment Nina was aiming at my chest I dodged it easily dagger strike you still shout it out. Nina activated her skill with her right hand. The moment I tried to dodge it, her left hand moved forward. She also activated Dagger Strike with her left hand, this time without chanting. It was a feint. See ya! I dodged backwards and took a distance using body enhancement. Hehehe. <laughs> Surprised? It was amazing. You used a feint by deliberately shouting the skill name out loud. I was jealous at her development. I casted a fireball which expanded to the circumference of several meters. What? You! That night, special training ended with me chasing Nina using fireballs. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, this translator did make a good point there. Good morning. Morning, you. Nina was rubbing her sleepy eyes. You didn't sleep? Who said? I don't know. Yesterday, after our special training, I have been been trying to increase my awareness skill. Monster has been caught in my awareness area, and because of that, I couldn't go to sleep with a peace of mind. I was trying to scan the area with awareness. I want to get used to it. But you also need to sleep. Well, I want to get used to it. It's because we will be entering a city soon. Corner, Coomer City that we'll be visiting has a population of over 100,000 people. If I don't get used to using awareness, some bad things may happen. We were walking, but Nina kept on looking at me. She was sh uh, making sure that I was okay. <laughs> on the way, we saw one wagon. Five to six adventurers were on it. It stopped moving a few meters away from us. What's happening? A girl got off the carriage, while the men inside were sneering at her. We have some company. Oi, Pachan, come back here. What did you just call me? Pachan? No, you must have misheard me. Having said that, their carriage took off, leaving her behind. It was a robe-wearing girl with short blonde hair and a face belonging to 10 to 12 years old. I looked at her status. Pachan? Is that, wasn't there, was there a blonde girl in the pictures? There's, there's a third, just like a mage-looking chick. I think she might have been blonde, I don't know. She, she also seemed uh, young, so probably her. You know, it's in the thumbnail. <laughs> um, see, I don't look at the thumbnail when I put up the thumbnail, because cause it's super fucking... Oh, I love that. Uh, <laughs> don't die. Oh, no, 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 I gotta get back to the story. Name, Lena, For uh, Lena Forma. Race, human. Job, magician. Hey, magician. So, so yeah, that's another point towards... Uh, pretty sure that's the girl in the thing. Uh, level 7, HP 21, MP 67, Strength 1, Agility 3, Vitality 2, Intelligence 23, Magic 44, Luck 16. Passive skills, Casting Speed up, level 1, Active skills, White Magic level 2, Black Magic level 2, Special skills, none. What is... applause talk. What is that? <clears throat> Whatever. What's with her status? She's a magician, but her physique is horrible. You guys... What? What? Nina and I said it at the same time. You're lucky. Nina, let's leave. To have met me. Quick. The genius magician. I'm a magician. What? Hey. Yeah! I met a strange person. I don't go with... I don't... <laughs> fucking... I can never tell who's talking. So is it Megumin? I don't know. It's just some girl put all her points into her magic. Right? Yeah shitload of magic put all her points into her magic well she only has level uh, two white and black she's got casting speed up she's she's basically megumi <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> fuck mm. chicken chicken got to me there <laughs> sorry sorry I should cut all that out <laughs> oh what do I care uh, but no, as I, as I was saying about the thumbnails, uh, it's super not important, but, but I, uh, I have a script that, uh, writes out the, the descriptions and the titles and everything for me and then adds the thumbnail, so I don't, so I, when I said I don't look at the thumbnails when I put them up, it's just, uh, all I do is I type in a keyword in the title box and then it fills the title, fills the description, fills the tags, and then, uh, I go over, I hover over the, um, the other thing, I hover over, hover over, add, add uh add thumbnail and then i press g and then it adds the thumbnail specifically to whatever uh hotkey i just used or little little um keyword i just used for this one i type in dep 
uh, and then it, and it adds that specific thumbnail, um, and, and then I just schedule the video, add the specific title part, and then it's good. It was a few days ago, uh, I, or I forgot to put in the number of the title, or the number of the, the title of the title, <laughs> the title of the chapter, I think it was for this one as well, and that's, that's the reason why, but yeah. It's a super fun script, if, if anybody is, does anything similar and they're interested in this script, uh, I'm totally comfortable with sharing it because it's super user friendly, kind of. You just have to change a few. Um, you you just have to change some text, and I can walk you through it. But I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of my script. 